and the rest of it is just fillets you can see now this is fillet number one two and here is the renting process Okay, what you see here is a scan app mesh with the iPhone and this is a wider scanner gives me this nice mesh here so what I'm gonna do now is trying to model this with the bar surfacing and let's make a RE for it so first um, I just go to delete this unnecessary faces to clean to myself while I'm modeling and I'm gonna keep the borders that I'm gonna work with it after that I'm gonna go to bar surfacing menu and create a plan now let's just Modify this plane here and manipulate it to get near to the shape here Some extrusion with the A key and some movements Try to cover the top face here Now it's starting to take this near shape for it and I'm gonna just constrain some points not all the faces because it's not gonna be worked perfectly so I just need some faces at the borders to be constrained and some verses here also and the other stuff here I'm gonna move it manually Now just fixing some of this topology here, reinsert faces, make sure you just uncheck the constraint from the side menu and I just did some bench relax here to give it a little smooth here. And now after I just got this nice shape, I'm happy with that, I'm just going to subdivide it once and make a thickness for it. Okay, so this, this is good, I'm just going to save it 
as a cyborg and I'm gonna create a slender. So the slender is for this um, speed meters or some this is a, this is a tweeter on the left side and this is a speed meter on the right side. So I'm gonna try to manipulate this to get a speed meter shape and this tweeter shape. And I make sure it's across the metal board because I'm gonna combine it with the SOLIDWORKS so it's just underneath it from the other side and just adjusting this diameter and the angle of it Now I'm going to hit convert and continue with the SOLIDWORKS tools. Let's, I'm just, I'm just going to combine them, combine all the three parts and do a fillet here. So that give me a nice fillet. Maybe let's fill it here. Okay, now they are merged with this surface. But I need to cut them from the downside. Let me just go back and adjust some positions. Fill it again. And let's figure out how we can cut this underneath pores here. So I'm gonna, I just try to offset this but it didn't work because it just buried it or this this surface is combined now so I figured out I can delete some faces here I'm gonna get the uh, delete face tool
and try to cut this guys here and delete his bodies here also now I'm gonna just easily fill this open edges Okay, now let's go to the net surface, I'm gonna net all and create a solid and now I have this perfect solid body. Everything seems to be okay now. tried to see the measurement of it now it's just 21.77 it's just exactly the same original part of mine so the special part here is that I just scanned it with my phone and I got this near maybe 99% measurements of the real part I just did a small modification here let me show you how I just did this cuts here I use also the bar surfacing to get this nice curvature cut it's just taking the curve with its millimeters and the sweater here so let me just go back to the edit the future of the bar surfacing and I'm going to hide the reference mesh and as you see seen here this is the cut I used to do. I just used the combine tool and subtract it. So if we just go back to the solid again, let me just take the steps with you. First, it pulls this bar future, and then I just combine it this two bodies with it, deleted these faces, and these two bodies surface fell here and here and I just net it so it's all now combined it and then I just subtracted this solid body with the main body and the other one also then I got this shape here and the rest of it is just fillets you can see now this is fillet number one two and then this side fillet and other fillets at the bottom. And here is the printing process. It was just about to finish. This is the half of it. And as you see everything looks great. So that's it for this board and I hope you just learned something, thanks for watching.